But it's like for a youngin' on the south side, south side. So much on my mind I don't know why I don't know why Welcome to Wrap It Up. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. Now, for those that are new to this, Wrap It Up is a show where I talk about music topics from top 10 list to album review. So who's the best rapper or the best singer of all time? As long as it's music related, I'm going to talk about it. Now, usually I talk about R&B and hip hop, um, but sometimes we might go into other genres. Most of the time, it's just me, solo, dolo. So and this episode is not an exception to that. Um we're going to do album reviews. So there have been a lot of albums that come out um, in the last couple of months. Now, I like to sit with albums for a little bit. So some of these albums came out like early June. Some of them came out. I don't know when a Doja Cat's album came out, but some of these albums have been out for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So I don't like to just listen to it on one sitting and then give my review. I like to sit with the album for a little bit. So we're going to give like five reviews, but without further ado, they get into this episode. All right. The first album we're going with is Doja Cat's Planet Her. Now, uh, the album to me has some hit singles, um, but the problem is like it had the, the, the good songs were the singles. The good songs were the songs that you know could be on the radio. Um, but the problem I had with the album was the misses were misses. Like, it seemed like she was experimenting, which I get her respect for um, trying something different, trying something, experimenting new sounds and new stuff. But I think that hurt the album. Like the album was was good with the singles and stuff like that. And if she would have stayed on that formula, I think we would have had something there. But I think um, the experimental part of the music actually messed it up. And also there's a couple of songs that seem like, uh, filler tracks um there's definitely a song that i hate on the album because of how uh people on tiktok in particular white people on tiktok have taken to the song um but i'm not even yeah anybody who has been on tiktok knows exactly what song i'm talking about um but i think that album is it's like it's like average um i respect the Nicki minaj uh influence and her giving like basically like a shout out um paying homage to it um or to her I'm sorry for calling her it. um but yeah I think the album was it was solid it has some misses um the it was definitely her trying new things um I give it a three out of five now my personal favorite off of the album is a song with the weekend which was a single you write um, I also like the song with Jid and SZA. Um, I like the song where she's paying homage to Nicki Minaj, but um, my favorite off there is You Right featuring The Weeknd. That is a banger. All right, so we're going to do, the next album we're going to do is Vince Staples, Vince Staple album. Now this album, um, the I kind of, the first time I listened to it, I was expecting something completely different. Um, and I was kind of surprised by like what we were getting, but I shouldn't have been surprised because when Vince Staples, all of his albums give you a different sound. Like he's definitely grown and matured with every album. So I don't know why I was expecting um, some gangster shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I was expecting that. Um, but uh, I, I really, really enjoyed this album. Um, like the production on there is amazing. His sound is definitely growing. He's you can tell through his music that he's like maturing. Um, I am a fan of great production. Um, his like melodies on this album, him singing a little bit more is cool. Um, like like this honestly the only critique that I really have with this album is I wish it was longer. That's the only thing I have an issue with. Like this album is fire. Like this is, a, I'll give it a 4.5 out of five. Like it is amazing. Like um, my favorite song off of the album switches um, right now is, are you with that? Um, but like the other day it was um, not that it was, it was the name of the song sundown town. Um, it, it switches all the time. This album is just amazing. It's fire. Like, 
this might be Vince Staples' best project, and that's including like his his mixtapes, the mixtape with Mac Miller. That that's including um, Summertime '06. Like this album is fire. Um, Vince Staples definitely did his thing, um, and and I think Kenny Beats was a producer on all the songs, and he did his thing too. Like I like hearing Vince Staples on these type of beats. You know, I want to hear him on more beats like this because definitely something different from him. Definitely something that I really really enjoyed. Um, I wasn't really expecting uh, this type of album from him, so. It's like a good expect, like good exceeded my expectations. Um, he's one of them rappers too that don't get like the credit. Um, Vince Staple doesn't have a miss at all in his catalog. Like you know, most out people when they drop albums and stuff like that, they have misses. Uh, Vince Staples has no misses in his catalog, and I would love to keep hearing his music and see where he's gonna go in the future. The next album we're gonna go with is Snow Allegra's Temporary High in the Violent Skies. This album right here, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of disappointed me. Um, it disappointed me because when I was really looking forward to this album and it just didn't give what it was supposed to be given. It, was, it just sounded pretty generic. Um, it seemed to be missing like that emotion or something was missing. Um, it's not, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's, it's just like, it's just me. Like it's just there, you know, and you don't really want that from an album. At least I don't think an artist would want that. Like there's some hits on here, but the hits on this album are like the songs that you would expect to be hits. You know, the Tyler, the creative feature, the Pharrell um, or Neptune's produced song, um, the singles, like, but those were like the songs that I'm like, okay, but what about the the album cuts, the deep album cuts? And I listened to this album a lot to be like, all right, maybe I was tripping the first time, the second time, and each time I came with the same exact result, like it's missing something. Um, it just didn't, didn't give what it was supposed to be given. I don't know how else to put it. Um, it's not, it's definitely not her best. Um, like, uh, it, it's, I wouldn't go back to this album and listen to it. I, there's songs on here that I would listen to again, but I wouldn't go back to listen to the whole album like that. It's, so it's missing something. Um, my favorite off of here is Lost You. I give the album, uh, I gave it a three out of five because it's pretty average. Nothing special, nothing that makes it stand out. Um, uh, I guess I had higher expectations for it because I think Snow Allegra is one of them artists, but um, it didn't give what I wanted. So, and the last album that we're going to review um, is IDK's You See For Yourself. Now this album right here, um, I really, really enjoyed the album. I think he's one of them artists that does good on these concepts. Um, a common theme that we saw on this album was love or lack of love. Um, that definitely was a central theme on the album, whether it was him talking about his mom not showing love or his stepdad being bad or you know, him talking about relationships and basically it, I got the vibe that he he don't know how to love because he never witnessed love. It's kind of some of the things that I got from the album. Um, but it, it definitely was him like talking about dysfunctional family, definitely him talking about not seeing healthy relationships, kind of describes his upbringing. It's something I can kind of relate to a lot. Um, He's talking about like how he was jealous of certain things. And I used to be like jealous of certain people's family structures. Um, like my parents and stuff were cool, but like, obviously like people really, really, it was just, I'm not gonna go into it, but um, definitely um, he did like, like it, it seemed way more personal. So he was talking about, um, I, I guess he alluded to him being molested. I don't know if, uh, what that deal was um, but this definitely was like love was definitely something um, expressed on this album um, he has songs like hey auntie um, 
Peloton, um, a whole bunch of songs on the album basically was like, love is what I got. Like the central theme is love, the lack of love. Um, also, IDK really hates his stepdad. Like um, I, I listen to him, I'm a fan of his music and uh, his stepdad, he is not a fan of him. Like he leaked his address. Um, he always mentions him and like basically this, I think this man wants your fade, IDK stepdad. Um, he wants your fade. Michael, I think that's your name. Michael, he wants your fade. Uh, give Jason that fade. He wants it, you know. Um, but uh, I, I like the concept of this album. The only issue that I have with the album is the, the singles kind of fucked it up. Um, it kind of fucked, it messed it up. I'm trying to stop cussing as much as I cuss. The singles kind of messed up the album because it was like a good flow, boom. Then the single come and kind of messed it up. The same issue I have with the last album, the same one I have with this one. But I like the concepts that IDK is doing. Um, I, and I hope the next album that he does kind of it builds off of this album. I give it a four out of five. I liked a lot of songs on this album, like the Vince Staples album. Um, my favorite song keeps changing. Right now, I'm playing Red a lot. Um, it has like MF Doom, J Electronica, and who is it from Griselda? I think West Side Gun. I think it's West Side Gun. Um, don't quote me on that one. But um, it's somebody from Griselda. I've been listening to a lot of Griselda, so they all like starting to sound the same to me right now. But um, yeah, that is a solid album. Definitely a deeper album don't be going to don't listen to this album thinking like it's gonna be some happy go lucky type of thing it ain't that this album is definitely um deep um if you come from a dysfunctional family or have some uh resentment to certain people in your family or anything issues like that it's gonna come up you might be thinking about it because he's definitely talking about it on pretty much every song on this album but it's solid and this has been Wrap It Up. Um, I've been your boy, Jamal Radio Raheem. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that shit YouTubers tell you to do. Um, if you're listening to this, uh, share this with your friends, share this with your partners. Also, if you're listening to this, that means I have a playlist out. It's the Radio Raheem tape. It's on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Amazon Music. I have more than just the Radio Raheem tape, though. So give it a listen. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm good at making playlists. And yeah, man, follow me on TikTok. All that stuff is in the description. And till next time, peace out, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it feels right. Feels right. I got dream, 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 dreams all in my mind. Uh, a couple thousand in my pocket. Anything I want, I copy. Pray to God, nobody with me. I'm no, I got dream, 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 dreams all in my mind